It appears there's a big development tonight in the disappearance of little Kaylee Anthony. Plans are apparently now in the work to get her mother out of jail. You know, the one who never reported Kaylee missing, even though she claimed her daughter was gone for a month? A bounty hunter now tells us he plans to post half a million dollars bail on Casey Anthony's behalf. And that he plans to get her out of jail early as early as next week. More on that in a second. First, though, Casey's father, George, the grandfather of the little girl, telling us a little more about that jail visit that he had yesterday, in which he lashed out at reporters before meeting with the daughter. In case you missed it, here's what happened. Listen to this. Do you have anything to say about the new theory that Please. he might be dead? It might have been an accident? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You know, let, let me, Shut up! Let me tell you one thing. One day later, George Anthony seems to have calmed down, but did not seem eager to talk about that outburst. That's a thing that I would rather not comment on. Okay, that's fine. How did your visit go? Um, heartbreaking in a lot of ways. Also, it was very uplifting for me and my wife to see our daughter. So, I mean, there was a lot of good things that came out of it, and that's all I can really say. But heartbreaking in a lot of ways, and maybe that's all he should say, really. We've learned the sheriff there has actually asked the grandparents to speak a little less often to those of us in the media. Phil Keating's live in Orlando now. Back to this bounty hunter who says he'll post Casey Anthony's bail, the mom. What's the story with that, Phil? Leonard Padilla has been a bounty hunter for more than 30 years based out of California, but his nephew is actually accompanying him out here, and his nephew Tony Padilla is the one who's actually going to put up the half-million-dollar bond. Uh, Leonard says this was all arranged from a mutual friend who knew Casey Anthony's attorney, Jose Baez, and that Jose Baez spoke with Leonard Padilla, and Leonard says, you know, this is clearly a case that needs a little help. Yeah, well, you got to wonder if it isn't a publicity stunt, right? Well, typically they profit 10% of whatever the bond is. In this case, they would profit $50,000. I asked Leonard Padilla, who's paying you the 50 grand? He says, well, that hasn't been determined yet, but they're absolutely aware that this is a massive opportunity for publicity. Yeah, so assuming that the mom does get out of jail, which is quite an assumption, how does that change things? Well, we'll see if that actually helps find where Kaylee Anthony is. Her parents have maintained all along the best way to advance this case is to get Casey out of jail and help find where Kaylee is. So she will not be able to actually, though, drive around and conduct her own search. A condition of her bond is that she will have to be wearing an ankle bracelet on home confinement. Whether that is here at her grandparents' house where she and Kaylee had been living, we will see. But it does not necessarily have to be at this location. Phil Keating, live in Central Florida. The man who calls himself...